Hello, my awesome, sweet Cappies. Cappies, it's Saturday. Happy weekend to you, Cappies. I missed you guys. Cappies, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, we're going to ask what's coming towards you, what you'll be dealing with, facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever it is you're thinking of, concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not, first we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally, what's on their mind, what they're thinking, feeling at this time, especially in relation to you, Cappies. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Capricorn, for Capricorn's highest good, please. Universe, what's coming towards Capricorn in their life? And how is Capricorn currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming towards Cappies in their life? And how is Capricorn currently doing on their soulmate journey? This one wants to come out very strongly as extra message. Oh my goodness, Cappies. Ooh. Hmm. This is you celebrating your freedom uh, from some kind of toxic situation or toxic people or connections. This is you releasing yourself. Yeah, let me see your subconscious position. My goodness, your soulmate, your soulmate wants to come towards you. Uh, they're showing up here as feeling emotions, feelings. Let me see. Please show us what's coming towards Cappies in their life and how is Capricorn currently doing on their soulmate journey? Yeah, you walked away. You're walking away successfully from toxic people, toxic situations, toxic connections, people that uh, felt like they drained your energy and resources. This is you recognizing clearly who you need to let go of for your highest good from your life and who uh, needs to be in your life. Yeah, this is you having new beginnings. My goodness, meeting new people, having new beginnings. Yes, look at this, new connections. Ooh, what happened? The soulmate from your recent past, the soulmate that you let go of. Um, yeah, you walked away from them. You had, you felt like you needed to release the situation. This is them uh, feeling like they need to clear something up with you, like they need to clear the air with you. You see, this is them uh, trying to make a wise decision on how to approach you. Hmm. Yeah, look at this communication. They're thinking of you heavily because they're showing up in your reading directly already. So something serious happened. This person did not realize how much they cared for you. You see, this is uh, something in them waking up, realizing that they can't let you go. Like they're not able to move on with their life completely. You see, this is uh, like a revelation to them, like a awakening. A tower moment happened unexpectedly. This is them missing you, uh, shocked by what had happened. Uh, you let them go. So you felt like you needed to let them go for whatever reasons. They're showing up in your reading very strongly, wanting to see you, wanting to reunite with you, to reconnect with you. Let me see. Oof. Let's see. Universe, please show us what's coming towards Capricorn in their life and how is Capricorn currently doing on their soulmate journey? In about a minute or so, we're going to ask about your soulmate directly. Yeah, so Capis, you released this person. You did. Uh, you released them, let them go. But they showing up here as, I think they were quite judgmental towards you. Like they released harsh judgment or maybe they said something mean to you that hurt you and they aware that they hurt your feelings deeply and they want to make it up to you. So Knight of Swords represents someone who can say mean things or uh, release some kind of harsh judgment towards other people when they upset. 
And Knight of Cups is the opposite of that, which means they want to apologize. They want to give you peace offerings, gifts, smooth things over. Um, yeah, you see, ooh, they heartbroken over losing you. One, two, three swords. This person is trying to figure out what to do. They're not able to release you. So they did try to disconnect from this, let you go, and they're not able to do so. Ooh, something serious happened because this means serious disagreements, fights, arguments, heartbreak showing up. This person is deeply heartbroken over losing you. Heartbreak showing up here, but them silent. They don't want you to know or anybody else to know that they feel heartbroken about losing you. Yeah, you see, look at this. This is them trying to process everything, uh, to try to put themselves in your shoes, sort of speak, to figure out what it is you're feeling or how you felt when this all went down. Hmm. A lot of you are dealing with Cap, um, um, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Pisces. This person wants to come towards you. Let's see, Capis. Let's see. So they showed up in your reading very strongly, even though we didn't ask about them directly yet. Let's see. Universe, please step in. Show very clear and important messages for the sign of Capricorn. For Capricorn's highest good, please. Universe, the soulmate of Capricorn. The soulmate of Capricorn. What's going on currently with the soulmate of Capricorn? And how is the soulmate of Capricorn towards Capricorn at this time? How is the soulmate of Capis towards Capis at this time? What are they thinking, feeling at this time, especially in relation to Capis? This one is trying to hide from me. Oh... What is going on? This is not good, especially in position one. This person is very angry with the way things fell apart. They, yeah, this is this is concerning me, especially in position one. Ooh, what happened? This is serious. This, um, this person is very agitated, upset, disappointed. Um, hmm. They love you a lot, but they have a hard time expressing these emotions that they feel. They're trying to heal. They're trying to not feel this heartbreak. They're trying not to be upset. They love you a lot. They do, but their love is showing up as hidden, unexpressed. Uh, hmm. Let me see the subconscious position. Ooh, you, uh, you let them go, Capis. This is how they view you towards them at this particular time. You let them go. You really release this person for good. They view you as very wise, perceptive, analytical, strategic, uh, intelligent, perceptive, like a judge, making wise decisions. But at the same time, they view you as extremely guarded with your heart towards them. Like you uh, release them for good. They think you're done with them. Like you release them forever and there's no way you're going to let them back in. That's their fear. And the reason why it's their fear is because they love you deeply, genuinely. They just, for some reason, have a hard time expressing these deep emotions. Hmm. You know, please show us... Um, What's going on currently with the summit of Capricorn and how is the summit of Capis towards Capis at this time? Yeah, you see, they're trying to balance the energy to figure out what it is they really want and how they want to approach this. They feel unbalanced, undecided on how to handle this correctly. Yeah, look how sad they feel without you. This is them missing you. Feeling sad without you, heartbroken. They miss you a lot. And I mean a lot because they love you. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So they again, this person wants to reconcile with you. They're hoping for reconciliation with you because they love you. Yeah, you see, the reason why they can't release you is because they're in love with you. They tried. They really did try. They tried to release you 
not think of you, not miss you, not love you, and that hasn't happened. And the reason for that is one reason, and that is because they genuinely in love with you. Ooh, this, uh, this person has a very hard time letting you go. You guys have soul contracts together. You're going to see each other again in future lifetimes. You have soul contracts. Look at this. Justice with the devil energy. This person feels bound to you. Like the, no matter what they try, what they think, they're not able to let you go. Release you. Stop. Ooh, this is not good. This is not good. The devil card showing up twice. This person is very angry with the whole situation. Mm. Yeah, this person feels they disappointed you greatly and that you're not going to let them back in. This means apologies, peace offerings, gifts, explanations. They want to take action towards you, meaning they want to reach out to you. They want to find a way to initiate this necessary communication to figure out where this is truly going or whether it's truly over or not. Because this person is not able to release you. This means that they're feeling bound to you, like this is unfinished business between the two of you. This is how they view you towards them. Uh, very guarded emotionally towards them. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Capricorn. And how is the soulmate of Capricorn towards Capis at this time? they hoping, praying, wishing that you're going to be back in their life. They view you as very attractive, strong-willed, independent, not needing anyone to support you emotionally or financially. You are a go-getter. You are a very independent person. You are very intuitive, psychic. Look at your energy is beautiful, Cappies. This is you, very intuitive, connected with the divine. Look at this beautiful connection between you and higher power, high priestess with the star. A lot of you are dealing with another Capricorn. This person wants to find a way to communicate with you unexpectedly. They feel a lot of passion for you. So this person um, respects the fact that you are your own person. You're not chasing anybody. You're not clingy or needy. Um, Cappies, we're going to go into your extended reading and ask about your soulmates, true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you. What are they planning long-term at this time? In relation to you. Then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you. What they have up their sleeve. Whether they hiding it on purpose or can't communicate for whatever reason. But the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course at the end we're going to ask advice for you. On how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time. And anything else you need to know about your life. Including new soulmates. New chapters, new beginnings in your life. Also your health, finances, business job opportunities family matters friendships whatever it is you need to know they'll show it at the end of the reading as well so cappies click on the extended link below this video in the description box below and i'll see you there love you guys